Okay, YouTube, it's Michael Bell back again for Torque Performance, and uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the the two different oils that they have for small engines that AMS Oil offers. Uh, some of the first engines I ever worked on were small engines, and yeah, so you know if you've run a uh, lawnmower business or you've got some kind of small engine that needs oil, uh, really recommend it. So uh, we'll get into this. Okay, and we're back, and uh, there's there's two different grades of oil that AMS Oil offers. Um, get it out here. Is your 10W30 and your 10W40 for small engines. Now, when I say small engines, uh, there's a there's quite a bit of stuff that you can uh, use this oil in. But, you know, the first thing that comes to mind for me is uh, you know my push mower or my riding mower. But th this stuff you can actually use in diesel equipment as well. Um, some of your bobcats and uh, heavy uh, equipment that you would use that would have a smaller engine in it. Uh, a lot of a lot of uh, lawn mowers and whatnot take a 30 weight oil, and you know, I, I, it, it's funny because I have a push mower, and I, you know, there's I've just neglected it for years, and there's a, there always comes a point in time when you when you when you just you, you know you, you've really neglected your equipment when you start talking to it. And you're just praying that it runs. And this push mower I've got is I've just neglected it for three years. And I started, you know, when I changed oil before I became an AMS oil dealer, I just literally put motor oil in it. And now I'm having some problems with it. Um, so, so I'm going to switch it over to AMS oil. But you know, it's just hilarious that you end up talking to your equipment. You know, but uh... oh, come on, baby! I just need you to start here. Don't want to flood you out today. Just. Please start for me. I know I've neglected you. You're a little rough and a couple years old, but I just need you to get this grass cut. Oh, you dirty. Oh, you piece of junk. Oh, you piece of junk, I'm gonna flood you out. I don't care about you no more. You're just gonna go to the junkyard, you piece of junk. I can't wait for the lithium batteries to replace you, flood you out. So the, uh, the other thing is that this stuff is basically commercial grade. And uh, the one benefit that you have with AMS oil is that actually it's blended and it's 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 built. When you have a full synthetic oil, um, they engineer this oil. They just don't pull it out of the ground and, get, and sell you a weight of oil. Uh, what, one of the big things is um, being commercial grade is having some problems with my eyes lately. Um, outperforms conventional oils, tough formulation, protects against uh, wear, heat, and carbon deposit, helps maintain power and promotes long engine life, engineered specifically to, to deliver dependable operation for professionals. These are the guys that make their money, you know, or gals, either one, um, you know, from their equipment. Uh, fr from what I've read, I, I can't tell you personally that I've had this experience, but there's been people online that have used AMS oil that run professional businesses, and they're able to get, you know, three years out of their mowers instead of two just by switching to a conventional oil, uh, a full, com uh, full synthetic oil from a conventional. Um, a lot of times, the manufacturers don't recommend a full synthetic oil. But the manufacturers also, you know, the, the, they, the equipment that they sell you, um, they need to replace over time um, to keep producing more equipment. So you can extend the life of your equipment by running AMS oil and prolong the life of your equipment. Um, it, I, if I had to guess, I would say it's formulated. Yep, okay. It's API, SL, SJ, SH, SG, which is your gasoline engines, and API, CDCF for your diesel engines. And it actually says it's Jazzo, um, just add synthetic oil or just AMS oil, synthetic oil, MA, MA and MA2 wet clutch compatible. Um, and, and I think with the wet clutch compatible, what they're talking about is you could probably actually put this in scooters or basically small engines. Uh, Briggs and Stratton, a lot of little mini bikes and uh, go-karts run big Briggs and Stratton engines. But on this 10W40, it says, Using small engines found in, but not limited to mowers, zero turn riding, riding stand on push, uh, generators, that's a big one too, power washers and other equipment that requires 10W40 
or 15W40 motor oil. That's the other thing is some of these, these oils from Amsoil, it's really hot in here, it's about 100 degrees. Uh, some of these uh, oils actually will meet the standards of other grades of oil. Um, so you can, you can buy a 1040 and run it in something that the manufacturer will require 15W40. And the most common for 10W40 is Kubota, Kawasaki, Robin, Onin, or Linamar um, brands. And on the 30 weight, a lot of mowers, like I said, they take a 30 weight oil. Um, this, is, this is what my mower takes. And it also is API, SLS, JSH, SG, gasoline approved. Same thing with the diesel. API, CD, CF. On, on the diesel, you, you really need to use um, the oil that the, that the oil meets the standards for the diesel. Um, there's a lot of different oils for diesel and some of the oil, you need a lot of zinc in there. Um, it's also Jazzo MA, MA2 wet clutch compatible. Uh, it's the same thing, maximizes engine power, helps cut maintenance costs. And a lot of times if you're using your equipment you know, to make your money. The last thing you need is your equipment down and, uh, you know, maintenance costs, it will just kill you on your business. And it also says using small engines found in, but not limited to mowers, zero turn, riding, stand on, push generators, power washers, and other equipment that requires. See that on the 10W30, it actually will run a 30 weight, 5W30 or 10W30 uh, motor oil, including those made by, and this is the big one here, Briggs & Stratton, Honda, Kubota, that's another big one, Kawasaki. Kawasaki manufactures a lot of mo uh, engines. Now uh, they've got V-twins for uh, John Deere. John Deere's outsourcing almost all their engines for the mowers. Uh, Kohler, uh, Robin, Onim, Wisconsin, Powertrain, Yanmar, Yan Linamar and Vanguard. Basically, if you're looking at running this, you want to make sure that it's going to meet your specifications and that it's going to meet your grade of oil. Um, but this stuff is just killer stuff. And, you know, for the price of it, uh, compared to like dealer oil, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a couple dollars more, but you're getting more high quality product that you can actually run longer. Um, I, I'm not going to get into it here, but Amsoil also has a zero turn high, hydrostat oil. That's a 20W50. We'll, we'll make a video on that. And that, that fluid for that hydrostat, uh, you, you can double your service intervals. And a lot of people are like, well, what do you mean double your service intervals? And what you would do is you'd fill your hydrostat up with the Amsoil fluid. And, and if Amsoil does not have a filter for your hydrostat, you want to use your OEM uh, oil filter on your equipment. And then you would pull your oil filter off of your equipment and put a new oil filter in and then just refill the, the hydrostat filter, I'm sorry refill the hydrostat filter you won't lose very much when you do it and you can and you can run that fluid uh double the interval so if it's uh, 200 hours you can run 400 hours and you know that that's where you get into the you know cuts maintenance costs because if you have to have your equipment down to change the fluid um you know you, you could lose money each day or it could put you in a bind and whatnot but yeah amsoil small engine oil uh you know, a lot of people are on my channel. I'm starting to get some criticism. Uh, I've been getting some messages and whatnot about some other videos I made, which I love. Send me more criticism. I don't care. Um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if I'm right, I'm going to tell you I'm right. Just like the other guy told me the other day. Uh, he said, uh, what you're doing is all wrong, blah, blah, blah. And I looked on his little page and, uh, you know, he just goes to the dealer. He's never really worked on anything. And I told him, no. I said, the person that you're taking it to is uh, not giving you the information that you need. So... Yeah, uh, you know, that's pretty much it on the small engine, but uh, I, I will tell you one thing uh, for my channel here. I'll just tell you when I was at, when I was five years old, my, uh, my family had stuck me in a, <laughs> in a race car where I raced for five years or so. Um, and, and we used full synthetic oil in the, in the race cars. They were basically Briggs and Stratton engines. And those were the first engines that I ever worked on. And, uh, it's just funny when, 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 when you get stuck in a race car, well, actually by today's standards, uh, DCFS would probably get you for, you know, child endangerment at five years old, which is freaking hilarious how times change. But, um, you know, I, I look back on those times and I just say to myself, you know, I mean, when you have problems focusing at school and the teachers, you know, call your parents in, you have student, pre, you know, student teacher day or uh, teacher parent day and you know my michael just isn't focusing well michael wants to go race race cars you know what i mean at, at, at five six years old michael doesn't want to sit down and 
I'm 32 years old and I still don't know what the Louisiana purchase is all about, nor do I care because it has nothing to do with me today. But uh, yeah, so if you're gonna buy this or wanna try this, uh, I will tell you this, it's cheaper by the case. Um, if you order online, uh, use my dealer number 554-1460. I really appreciate it. It keeps me letting me uh, make YouTube videos. And if you have any questions or comments, um, leave them below. And uh, if you want a free catalog, you can click the link below in the description. Amazon will send your free catalog. And if you decide to purchase, I'll get, I'll get a little commission on it. Um, I'm not making a whole lot of money on that, but it is helping me continue with my uh, YouTube channel here. So uh, that's pretty much it. We're going to get back probably into the bikes next week. Um, I got another project bike over here. I'm waiting on a few other things to unveil it. But uh, yeah, thank you very much. See you next week.